Hey guys, thanks for coming back for more of my streamlined playthrough of Dragon Age Origins, in which I am focusing only on the game's main story and ignoring pretty much everything else. <laughs> all the side quests, all the chatting, none of that. We'll have none of that. We just want to go from main story quest to main story quest as quickly as possible. In it, and this is all in an, in uh, my first ever attempt to play the game in this sort of quick manner and it's proved very interesting and compelling so far despite the fact that I'm not going off and doing everything <laughs> that the game has to offer. So when we last left off we were here in the dwarven city of Orzammar and we have been um, directed by Prince Balin to locate the Paragon Branca who is in the Deep Roads. She will help apparently help secure his place on the throne. In order to find her, we have to head back to the Deep Roads, and unexpectedly, we picked up another companion, Ogren. I saw him back in the tavern there. That's usually where I end up getting him. Uh, I was not aware that he would join you regardless, <laughs> and that's particularly because he knows Branca. But I have chosen not to take him along because I'm sticking with my party of three here uh, till the end, as long as the game lets me. And uh, that's that. So we'll see how things play out as we head back into the deep roads. So, Caradon's Cross. That is apparently, and that's where I think Ogren said, um, Branca was last seen. So that's where we're going to go. I don't believe that everything begins and ends at Caradon's Cross in terms of this particular quest, but let's find out. And there we go as it loads up. All right. And here are some folks. Well, hmm. Some of Balin's new toadies. Let's show them who's king. We must not take okay. <laughs> right off the bat. Food. I got distracted. What distracted me? I have no idea. I was trying to move. There we go. I'm trying to get over to this mage. Is that everybody? All right, good. Okay. Picking up things here and there. Not doing all out looting as I normally might. Yes, well, don't worry. It's not what you think. I see. I was looking at your nose. And what is it about my nose that captivates you so? I was just thinking that it looks exactly like your mother's. I hate you so much. Hmm? What? Never mind. <laughs> you two crazy kids. All right. Sorry. Every now and then, just got to take a minute to enjoy the wonders of Alistair and Morgan. Ah. <laughs> uh. Okay, so yes, we're obviously not going to have an easy path through. That's not how this game works. I am still pretty much working with the exact same set of uh, basic attacks that I've <laughs> picked up early on. I did in leveling up pick up a few sustained powers some passive abilities which will supposedly help me but i you know to a certain degree i've taken a blow to the amount of stamina i have available but that's all good it's all well and good again my goal it really is to get through the main story shit 
and yes, trigger every single damn trap in the way while I'm doing it. Ugh. Um, yeah, my goal, <laughs> my goal is to get through the main story here. It is not necessarily to be as RPG e as this RPG wants me to be. To that end, my rogue Diana remains something of a still a, of a mystery to me. By choosing only the number one conversation choices, they've led down some some interesting paths. So for her anyway. Ooh, I unlocked that chest. That's one of the skills I actually picked up. There's a specific, um, no, I cannot. Yeah, you have to be a certain, <laughs> you have to be a certain level to pick certain chests. But I did actually pick up the, f whatever you want to call the first level <laughs> of lock picking. So it will allow me to pick some locks. And I am literally just heading off. I was trying to open another chest, but. Um, my character was like, no, we need to take down this dude. All right, let's just continue on this way. Oh, sh <laughs> Really? I'm going to have to stop commenting on it because it's becoming so goddamn obvious that I am <laughs> not paying attention to where I'm going. That's all right, though. I shall do it. Am I going to attack or just stand around? Either way, you know, I'm fine with. Not really. I would prefer to go, prefer to attack. Okay. There's a lot of folks in this room to take out. Oh, that was so super dumb. I totally wasn't even paying attention to anything all right come on morgan <laughs> oh there's an ogre <laughs> i don't know if i can actually go and revive my character i haven't even tried that oh shoot i was trying to uh let's see oh shoot morgan that's not good. Oh no, and Alistair. Oh man, I'm gonna be left with my dog. Oh, I'm I'm am the dog right now. <laughs> oh, he's the only one left. Oh man. Let's see. Come on, dog. All right, we'll give him a health potion. Oh, come on, you can take down this stupid ogre. Wow. I don't think I've ever been left with just the dog. In the end. He attacks like anything else, but I don't have no clue what his powers are, and I will need to redo <laughs> up his health again. Well, that's fascinating. <laughs> and, oh my gosh, I forgot what a pain in the ass this section is. Gotta love the stupid deep roads. All right. Well, that was good, but it also sucked because now all three of my characters have injuries. Ugh, and that does not bode well. well. Let's regroup and I'll get back to my, get back to Diana and try to figure things out here. So I have two injuries. Morgan has an injury. All right, so I got to at least get rid of one injury per person. Who, where did I go? Alistair? And they're not even done. There's still one more fucker left. God damn it. All right, come on, Alistair. I actually, I got stuck on him. Oh my God. Is that it? Okay, so I'll have to get rid of at least one, one of Diana's, where is, oh, I thought I picked up some lesser injury kits, hang on, 
There we go. Lesser injury kit. What now? And then her. Since it looks like she has a cracked skull. <laughs> that's no help. Um, very, well. very good. And Alistair. Who's bleeding out. Let's give him one as well. Okay. Damn. That only leads me with an, a, one, one of each kit. A lesser injury kit, which takes away one injury. And a regular injury kit, which I believe takes two. Okay. So. Impossible. Just going to pick up Think again. Nope, a few things here, and then we're going to move on. So how in the hell do I get out of here? Hmm. Codex. Codexy goodness. Uh, I'm going to pull up my map, I think. Mm, that's not what I wanted. Same button, though. <laughs> there we go. All right, so it's off to the side up here. I think, or at least that's the way we're going to start going, and we'll see where it ends up. Oh, I still have a pretty significant injury, but... We'll just pretend that it doesn't exist for right now, at least until I can pick up or find more kits. Wait, where is there? Where the hell did those come from? They just like magically showed up. Man, I'm pretty sure they're magical creatures, so of course. All right. And on we go. Back to where we started. God damn it. <laughs> oh, well, it's not where we started. It's another path. Sorry. Got a little grumpy a little too soon. As long as we're seeing new enemies, we're, <laughs> we're good to go. Uh, as far as it goes, anyway. All right. I mean, we could be in the deep roads for a minute here, so I suppose <laughs> we got to get used to it all. Oops. Shit. <laughs> oh. He found a helmet. All right. We'll check that out later. Okay, so. See who else we got here. Okay. After dying, my sustained powers <laughs> some a couple of them become unsustained, but uh, I'm still ready for battle. Where the hell this guy is? I see. <laughs> I see all of the red dots. Okay. I am oh, stuck. I am stuck. Oh, damn emissaries. Just the worst. Come on, Alistair. We can get him. Good. All right, everybody done? <laughs> okay. Oops. Oh, gosh. Just all over the place. Okay. So I'm still... So we're still on the hunt for Bronca in the deep roads. Here they come. Oh, shit. <laughs> well... Oh, that was a lot of enemies all at once. Not so smart. We're going to have to try to take out this ogre. Oh, with a few. He is extremely tough. And I will have to... <laughs> I will have to get up. Heal. Okay. All right. Did everybody take out the Shrieks? Is he the last one? All right. 
So, <laughs> this is not going to work very well if I can't stay alive. Oh! Good night. Okay. Seriously, initially it looked like I wasn't doing a damn bit of damage with him. For, on him. To him? However. Is there actually a passage back here? There is. Alright. To... An empty nothingness. Okay. Oh, we'll pick up stuff then. <laughs> All right. So back around. I don't think I had a particular plan, but I'm going to go this way. Looks like as good a way as any. And weave our way around. Ooh, my controller is being a little janky. It was being a little weird a few sessions ago. It seems to have calmed down a bit. But... Um, Orton Tig. So I think that's where, is that where, that's where um, Augren said we needed to go. Yeah, there's two sort of parallel quests going on there. There's the there's finding Bronca for Balin, but then there's also a quest called the Anvil of the Void. It's all tied in together. <laughs> so again, without Augur physically with me, I'm really intrigued to see how this turns out. Well, this looks quite a bit nicer than the, the, the last part of the Deep Roads. Have you really been thinking about that all this time? I am simply curious. And not insecure in the slightest, I'm sure. I think I look nothing like her. I don't know. Give it a few hundred years and it'll be a spot-on match. I said that I look nothing like her. All right, got it. <laughs> totally different. I see that now. <laughs> oh, all right, so I am actually have, I have a quest marker now that has shown up. No, I don't see it. There we go. Bronca's Journal, Anvil of the Void. That's what we're after. That's what we're after. Unfortunately, we can't just go right to it because there's a rock slide. So off to the side we go to find things and stuff and eventually find our way to, to Bronca or at least her journal per the <laughs> description of what's going on here. And yay for spiders. Considering that we've been underground for as long as we've been, I'm surprised that there are, haven't been more of these along the way. But, let's see. Oh, they just keep on coming. And anybody else? Yep, something else at least. Let's keep moving ahead. Oh, man. You had to bring an ogre along with you and more spiders? Jeez. Oh, thank you, Morgan, for freezing him for a second. But at least I could try to get <laughs> some folks in. Regular ogres are not as terrible as the alphas. But it does remind me that I am and remain a tad underleveled at this point. You know, because <laughs> that's how it is. All right, we're going to keep going off in this direction. Something else took out an ogre. Oh, oh, we have dark spawn and spiders. So who do we go <laughs> for first? Oh, it's just a big old party, y'all. Okay. 
Okay. That is me concentrating on fighting. <laughs> well, I'm glad I'm picking up a lot of health potions. So let's see. This is just a, this is a nothing. No, I cannot. Oh, can't unlock that. Um, all right, so I guess we go off in the other direction. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Where the hell is he going? <laughs> He's gonna lie and wait <laughs> until I come to him? Oh, because he's got friends. Oh, well. Joke's on me, I suppose. Oh, I didn't catch that he was a giant poisonous spider. Aren't these all pretty... Excuse me, a giant poisonous spider. We have the wrong, wrong emphasis. I'm like, are they all giant spiders? Pretty much. One giant spider. We've seen them all. Okay, but he was at least leading us in sort of the proper direction here. Yes. <laughs> Indignant spirits. Oh. As invaders, I guess that's how it goes. Enter Gollum into the mix. I haven't seen them since the Fade. I don't have any of my special powers here, though. Ooh, he really doesn't like my dog. is really focused on the dog. Yeah, that's right. What did I tell you? What did you tell me, Alistair? Hey, we're going to have a good adventure. Maybe you said something like that. All right. So There's a lot to see here, but I am just kind of What the hell was that? <laughs> Am I hearing things, or was that Alistair screaming? Um, more enemies, okay. But I'm still heading towards the marker. That's that's what we're doing here. More spirits in the way. I shall do it. Yet more spirits. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to pick up better weapons soon. Just not doing as much damage as I could be, or as I know I could be. I don't think so, but I know that rogues, uh, dual-wielding rogues, don't do a lot of um, immediate damage. A lot of that's coming from Alistair, and even Morgan, to a, to a great extent. My focus is quick strikes. And the game wants me to be stealthy, but I, uh, <laughs> I certainly have not been. Okay, so wait, is that, that's not back the way we came. I need a map, although it's going to want me to level somebody up. Okay, now can I go to my map? So actually, 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 I am kind of going back to where I was. Let's see. It looked like there were two passages out. Yeah, there's one there. And Impossible. I think that's... Nope. Sorry. I was looking at this pile of... Oh, fractured stone. All right, so so that must that's, that's the only way. I was seeing a non-way out essentially. 
All right, so we're gonna go here. Oh, yep. Yep, should have looked for more enemies. Oh, where are they all going? Huh, huh, okay. Hmm. Why are all the spiders disappearing? Surely that's not a good sign. Nope, can't open that one. Bye-bye. <gasps> well, even if the spiders don't want to be involved, <laughs> I don't know if I do. All right. Forward we go. I think it is with Saka. <laughs> So maybe those were just uncorrupted spiders who didn't want to get drawn into the wrong crowd. I have no idea. <laughs> Actually, I don't know if I've ever noticed that before in the game. You know, I'm really great at paying attention if it wasn't obvious already, so... <laughs> uh, it is what it is, folks. Oh, but I see there's our marker. Wait. All right, let's <laughs> just take a minute to look around. Aha! Corrupted spider what? Queen? Oh, man. Oh, jeez, I am just being eaten. Uh, I'm going to die. I died. I was. <laughs> oh man! Let us end this. All right, Alistair's up in the front there, taking the brunt of the damage. Down you go. Oh, I was interrupted. I was trying to do a spell. I have played as a mage in this game. I just don't remember the power scheme all that well. And I keep getting, I keep getting attacked. <laughs> All right, we'll see if we can take out that before. Oh, oh, more. So wait, did we kill the queen? Because I don't think that we did actually. But again, I am, we're okay. No, we're not. We're not quite okay. <laughs> I came back to life, but she's still there. There we go. And I... D <laughs> I, lay I died, and then I didn't die. All right. So <laughs> that was a little confusing. Oh, my lord. Can we just stop with the goddamn spiders for two seconds? I mean, I know we can't, but I'd really like it if we could. Oh, shit. I have three injuries. That is really going to be a knock against me if I don't if I don't do something uh, I'll have to think about this <laughs> quite severely alright but let's just go ahead and get what we came here for there we go this looks like someone's journal. The cover is battered and torn, but intact. As you leaf through the desiccated pages, the text catches your eye. We've found, we found evidence today that the Anvil of the Void was not built in the Orton. <laughs> Tag. Damn it. We will go south to the dead trenches. The Anvil is somewhere, somewhere beyond. My soldiers tell me I am mad. That the dead trenches are crawling with darkspawn. That we will surely die before the an before we find the anvil, if we find it. I leave this here in case they're right. If I die in the trenches, perhaps someone can yet walk past my corpse and retrieve the anvil. For if it remains lost, so do we all. If I have not returned and Ogren yet lives, tell him. No, what I have to say should be for his ears alone. This is my farewell. All right. I am done. Oh, I unlocked. I unlocked something. So, so we found 
Branca's journal, which is wonderful. And we've gone way over <laughs> in time. Not quite though. We're, we're at time just about. So um, I think I'm going to go ahead and actually do a manual save. And I think that's going to do it for this particular episode. I am going to try to figure out what I'm going to do with all these injuries if I can... If I want to make the choice to get rid of them now or just live with them for a bit, <laughs> we shall see. I will make that decision in the interim, and I hope that you will join me next time for more Dragon Age Origins. Thanks for watching, guys. See you then. Bye-bye.